So I'm here with Nick Hellman. It's great to have you with us today. How you doing? It's a good day. Great. And I want to start off just by asking a little bit about you. Um, what's your involvement in the cryptocurrency space? And then we can have a little bit of a chat about some of your thoughts on Horizon. Awesome. Like you said, my name is Nick Hellman or Crypto Hitman on Twitter. Been in cryptocurrency since 2016. Uh, kind of went public in 2017. I'm the vice president of LearnCrypto.io. We're kind of an education portal for beginners all the way to advanced uh, players in the space. Beginners, we have like a beginner course. We also have a trading course. And then we have a paid group at patreon.com slash learn crypto, where you can see exactly what trades we're making, what kind of projects we're taking positions in, and how to earn passive income. Uh, and one of our favorites, of course, is Horizon. So we've got a lot of people over there setting up nodes and uh, earning those uh, Zen every Monday. That's great. And you've been in the space since 2016. Uh, Zen That's Cash correct. wasn't around back then. Um, when, did you first, when did you first start following Zen Cash, which then became Horizon as we know it today? Yeah, so I, I started following Zen Cash right around the launch. I was actually one of the first interviews that Rob had where they uh, started talking about the node infrastructure they were looking to build with uh, secure nodes and super nodes. So been with Horizon when it was back in Zen Cash, uh, I think it was somewhere around four, five, six dollars. So it's been the long haul and it's been a, a stable of uh, my portfolio and my community's portfolio for all these years. And uh, we're still here talking about it for, for a good reason. The uh, uh, launch of Zendu is coming. So I'm sure we'll talk about that here in a second. Yeah. And how did you first learn about, about Zen Cash back then? So in 2018, you know, there is cycles in the market. 2018 was the time of uh, Zcash forks, you know, whether it's a fork from Zcash or a fork from ZCL. And Zen, Zen Cash kind of fell into that uh, parameter. That's how I kind of got it on my radar. I connected with uh, some team members and Rob and liked what they were doing, liked their connections and uh, liked their outlook for the future. So that's how we kind of got started. Great. And um, Horizon has pivoted quite a lot from its uh, original... Um, launch of Zen Cash, which was more just a privacy-based coin. And now with the launch of Zendu coming up, we're becoming an ecosystem, um, a mm -hmm. scalable blockchain of blockchains. If you could describe Horizon in one word, what do you think it would be? Horizon in one word would be uh, undervalued. Simple under, as that. Undervalued. Yeah. Don't let it uh, pass under the radar. Uh, like you just said, originally it was just a currency, like a privacy currency like Zcash or Dash. The vision has always been there to expand on that. And Zendu is going to be uh, the next step in that transition. And once you have an ecosystem going, we're seeing other ecosystems thrive. And uh, I think uh, Horizon is still very early. And that's why you see the backers of Grayscale and Barry Silver and Fundstrat and DCG. And the list goes on and on. Uh, that's smart money, smart individuals. So I'll say undervalued. Yep. Great. And with the launch of Zendu, what are you most looking forward to about this ecosystem opening up? Uh, Zendu opens up a lot of opportunities. Obviously, we see with Ethereum, fees are way too high for the average Joe, $50 to $200. And we've seen layer one scaling solutions like Polygon and Binance Smart Chain and Avalanche and Solana really take off. People don't realize that Zendu is going to be this scaling solution for the crypto space for Horizon, where the native token is going to be Zen. All the utility, all the transaction fees is going to be passed on to Zen holders and Zen, and Zen node runners. And uh, if you get utility and projects to launch on Zendu, then you're going to see the same exponential growth in both users uh, and value like we've seen across all those other chains. Great. And what is something in particular that you'd like to see being built on Horizon as we move forward? So I know with Zendu from start, they're going to have a Board Ape Yacht Club on board. They're going to have Dash on board. And uh, some more announcements are coming. Maybe a Fortune 500 company is coming on board. But Really, I think what would be exciting to get on Zendu is an AMF or an automatic market maker, kind of like PancakeSwap is for BSC or QuickSwap is for Polygon. Because once you have an automatic market maker cr uh, created, that provides a lot of yield farming opportunities and utility for the Zen token. But it also provides a marketplace for Zendu that everybody can use uh, to trade all the tokens or hopefully all the tokens and companies that build on top of Zendu with all these sidechain capabilities. So I think an automatic market maker is really important to give value to, and a reason for all projects to come over to Horizon and, and build on their sidechains. Great. So thanks so much, Nick, for those great insights. Uh, we're keeping it short and sweet here uh, for this little um, interview today. But um, yeah, 
really excited and looking forward to seeing everything grow. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your time in Miami. We are in Miami for the Decentricon conference and the Art Basel. So uh, we'll see if any uh, announcements come out of Horizon down here. And it's uh, some exciting times for Zen and Zendu guys. Look it up, do some research. Very exciting things coming from the near term future for Zen. Great. Thank you so much for your time, Nick. Perfect. Thank you.